My name is Brian Homsang Pradit. I'm the uh, chassis lead right now for all the suspension development at Aptera. Well, the biggest changes so far have happened in the rear suspension. We actually got rid of the swing arm design that we had previously, and we've moved to a double trailing link, which really helps out the rear ride quality as well as predictability during acceleration and braking. Previously, it was, it was set up to where the vehicle during acceleration uh, actually had a little bit of lift to the rear of the car. Uh, and now we, we have it set up to where it's, it's very predictable. You get a very normal vehicle response, something you'd be familiar with with any other kind of vehicle. Uh, for the average consumer, right, if you go over a bump and the car jumps up really aggressively or you don't feel it at all, those are things that people will perceive, uh, maybe not knowing exactly how to explain that. Spring rates and damping rates and even air pressure in the tires affects those things greatly. And so for me, one of the biggest things is making sure that the ride rates for the vehicle are as someone would expect them to be at a, in a vehicle of that weight. Um, the other thing would be, how does the steering respond in the car? How does the, uh, the brake pedal feel whenever you're applying the brakes to come to a stop? The biggest challenge that we've had so far is finding components that are somewhat a good fit for this vehicle. It's it's a very interesting vehicle in the fact that it's it's so lightweight, right? There's there's so many vehicles in the marketplace that are much, much heavier. It's extremely efficient, um, but it comes at a, a little bit of a cost that you have unique parts that are sometimes very challenging to find. For right now, my uh, the next steps for me, like right when I get up out of the seat, is to go and continue finding all of the, uh, the fasteners that we need to be able to put the suspension together on the vehicle. We have uh, a, lot of, a lot of joints in the, in the suspension that are very, very critical for safety. And that's what I'm, I'm working on right now. So during track days, for example, we'll take the vehicle out and uh, go up and down the track. You know, there's, there's acceleration testing, there's braking testing. And uh, some of the big things that we get back from that is what does the vehicle do as a response to that, whether it pitches forward or pitches backwards during acceleration or braking, whatever whatever the result is, we have the ability to understand that data and apply that to what do our new models need to look like. Uh, so what I think is unique about Aptera is the fact that we're so efficiency focused, right? The A lot of other companies that I've worked for either have, let's say, cost on their minds or what is the, uh, the fastest we can make the vehicle. But really, I'm, I'm so pleasantly surprised by the co-CEO's uh, mentality and focus on efficiency that we are able to kind of focus our resources to kind of all get together on the same mutual goal of what is the most range we can get out of the vehicle um, to make the world's most efficient car. And uh, that is just something that's, it's not been done in any other company that I've been a part of before and I'm just really excited to be a part of that. If I were to take the Aptera out for a drive, I could see myself driving up to the uh, up to the mountains. I've always been a big fan of mountain roads and like fire passes and whatnot, um, to go out and enjoy the vehicle on the curvy roads. Uh, I'm actually very excited for the uh, Luna. So the, uh, the color so far, I, I guess I kind of go for the uh, Stormtrooper, st Stormtrooper kind of look. I, uh, I really appreciate that. One of the great things that we're doing right now is uh, implementing electric power assisted steering. And for that, it's gonna be a key player in us enabling autonomous driving for the Aptera. So one of the things that's gonna make the vehicle respond and behave the way you would expect it to as, as any other car, it's gonna have a proper steering feel to it. You won't have to be applying a, a exorbitant amount of force to get the wheel to turn and uh, autonomous driving is gonna be one of our biggest points in the future, and the electric power steering is gonna be a huge player in us doing that. Mm -hmm.